What about somebody who thinks a little differently? What about the, dare I say, the individual? Do you embrace the individual and the right to have a different point of view without being canceled, censored, accused of being a white supremacist if you're white, accused of being an Uncle Tom if you're black? And I mentioned this yesterday in a rap song. Will Smith once called me an Uncle Tom. It's called Mr. Nice Guy. And here he is playing a man, Richard Williams, who struggled mightily to make sure that his family had a better opportunity than the opportunity that they had growing up in Compton. My parents struggled mightily to make sure my brothers and I had a better opportunity than the opportunity we had growing up in South Central. But he's got a beef with me, and I'm an Uncle Tom. This is also a community that, of course, pulls that lever for the party that raises taxes, because after all, rich people don't pay their fair share. We need to have taxes for all these wonderful social programs that the left wants, including single payer, because we are on a march towards single payer. Eventually, we're going to get there, unfortunately. Republicans aren't even talking about repealing Obamacare anymore. Have you noticed that? Yet, how many movie productions are filmed now in places like Georgia and in New Jersey and in Louisiana, not because of the weather, but because of the tax breaks? So the very people that want to raise taxes on the so-called rich, then promptly go and put their productions in places where they can save the very taxes that they just now pull the lever to raise. Is this thing on? How many of these climate change people pulled up to the Dolby Theater for the Academy Awards in, quote, gas-guzzling SUVs or flew in on private jets? while going BMW about the importance of combating so-called climate change. Such incredible, incredible phonies. And as the caller pointed out, movie after movie after movie depicting violence, shooting them up, blood and guts, and yet talking about peace and love and sensitivity and kindness and caring, unless you have a point of view that is out of step. I told you the story, I think, a few years ago, buying a Christmas tree in a lot not far from where I live in the Hollywood area. And there were three actors who were working there part-time. Being an actor in Hollywood is a tough, tough gig. Most people never make it. Most people never are able to work full-time as actors. Many of them have part-time jobs. And they would look to the left, look to the right, and say, Larry Elder, love your show saying it in subtle voce because they know that if they are outed as somebody who's conservative they will not work this is the open minded tolerant empathetic community unless you have a point of view out of step with theirs and God forbid you should let anybody know you voted for Donald Trump I had a show some years ago called Moral Court it was the best court show ever Uh, For reasons that still escape me, it got canceled, even though the numbers were good. And the guy that designed my set designed a beautiful, beautiful set. And he told me that he was hired by the RNC to design the set for the political convention in 2000. And he's not even a Republican. He's a Democrat. He's left wing. He's gay. And he said they offered him a good price and he designed the set. And he said people found out he designed the set and accused him of being Republican. And he said he didn't work for a very long time. Hold up. And I want to repeat the story I think I said yesterday about the caterer. Knock on my door and a film crew came and said they want to film next door and they need to have uh, space for catering services for the film crew. And can we rent out your part of your property for the catering services? And we negotiated a deal. So they did. So they were shooting. It was a film starring Annette Bennett and Antonio Banderas. In fact, Antonio Banderas and I had a conversation in my driveway. He was smoking a cigarette, wearing a terry cloth towel. It's kind of surreal. And the day of the shooting, I was on my porch watching them shoot. And a guy comes up, identifies himself as head of catering services. And he and I had a very interesting talk. He's a big fan of the show. Now, we were so far away, no one could possibly hear what we were saying. He calls my radio show about six months later 
and says, you remember me? I said, yeah. He said, I haven't worked since then. I said, why? He said, because people saw that I was a fan of yours and I haven't worked since then. 